This tree here is a camphor laurel that was um, hammered uh, about a year ago. So hammering is the process of slowly killing a tree um, through defoliation and um, you're basically dehydrating the tree slowly. Um, campers are prone to suckering and um, also having a huge amount of seed stock underneath the tree. So if we came through here and uh, ring bark these trees, a lot of that seed stock, you create the perfect environment for that to grow. So you'd get lots of camphor seeds growing up here. You would also get a lot of coppicing on these trees. So the idea with this process is slow defoliation over multiple years. Um, we can see that some of these leaves above the hammering lines have started to, to yellow slightly. They've got this spot. Um, so they're not getting the adequate um, water that they need to, uh, to stay alive. Um, but it's not dead. So we're gonna come through and do a second round of hammering on these trees, um, which will slowly open up more light into here and allow seedlings, uh, native rainforest trees like this firewheel and this foam bark to, to get more light and start filling out the space that's taken up by these campers. So this process doesn't completely cut off uh, the cambium layer. It just bruises the phloem and xylem and slows down the movement of water and nutrients um, in that kind of few cell walls below the bark. Um, what we want to do is go the whole way around the tree um, and a thickness that is as wide as the tree is round. Um, you can see the first one we did here was um, quite high. You want to start at the top and work your way down um, because the coppicing that happens will kind of come from below that hammering. And um, so yeah, then when we come through, we'll do our second one just below and then the coppicing that comes below will slowly slow down with each successive hammering. So this is an example of the coppicing that happens after the hammering. Uh, so yeah, this tree was hammered a year ago and now we'll just come through and knock off this coppice and then come and do a second hammering just below the one from last year. So we can see here, beautiful small leaf tamarins, uh, goya semiglauca and foam barks coming through in this extra light that we've made up from kind of hammering this tree last year. So after we've done the hammering on these trees we're going to be inoculating them with mycelium. This is a grain spawn of a native shiitake strain um, on, inoculated onto uh, millet. Uh, so once we've done the hammering we'll come through and drill holes. And then we'll be plugging these holes with the mycelium. So this is fungal um, hyphates um, that are, you can see the white stuff on the grain and it'll just be a case of coming in and filling these holes. Um, and then we'll come through and plug them with a cap of beeswax uh, that just keeps any moisture and other fungal um, spores from getting in. So once the, um, the mycelium uh, colonizes this wood, um, the native shiitake is a primary decomposer. So it will break down uh, living material. Um, so this camper here is still alive. Um, but the idea is that we use this kind of combination of the hammering of um, slowly dehydrating the tree along with the mycelium to um, basically kill this tree quicker. The purpose of this is, yeah, that double, double impact of um, kind of attacking it from the inside and also the outside. But it also makes our time worthwhile because we get a food crop um, from the native shiitakes from these trees.